Today we're going to be talking about my EDC loadout for 2020. Are you ready? Stand by. So I haven't done a video like this in a long time and probably not many of you care, but enough of you cared to ask in comments so that I'm making this video. So I'm just gonna run through the things that I've been carrying. Now, I don't use a carry rotation. I don't think that's a generally good idea. I like to get good with a platform and then just carry that platform. Now, I will say that guns that have exactly the same grip angle, so your index is pretty much the same, the, the dot or the sights are always there when you bring them up. It doesn't matter if they're exactly the same platform, but if the grip angle is the same, then the index is going to be the same. So with that said, I actually have two guns to present to you and the rest of my kit. So with that all said, the star of the show that everyone was curious about is the knife that I am carrying. It is the Cricut CRKT, I guess you call it. I don't know. I'm not a knife guy. It has an assisted opening and this is the CEO. It's a stiletto style blade. I don't know all the specs and stuff for knives. It opens Amazon boxes really, really well. It's low profile, so it doesn't get in your hand when you go into your pocket. So I've been a pretty big fan of this. So much so that when I lost this knife, I bought another one off of Amazon. And since they're only like 45 bucks or whatever, you can click a link in the profile. I've got a link to it, whatever it is. But it's been a fantastic knife and I cannot recommend it to people who don't need like a pry bar type fighting knife this has been a really good knife but what are you hanging those guns off of i am using the core essentials x5 belt in tactical gray now full disclosure they sent this to me and i've been checking it out evaluating it it's kind of an interesting belt because it has sort of a track line uh, at the back so that the um you can hear it kind of ratcheting as it goes in and then there's a little tab that you pull out and then it'll let more slack go in there but it looks very much like a web belt and it is a webbing that is laminated onto like a leatherette type material that has the tracks on it so what you end up getting is a belt that is pretty stiff uh, but it's very thin which is what i like about it so much it is a really low profile a lot of these gun belts are like super duper thick and just kind of make everything stand out on your waistline this is more uh, of a profile similar to like just a fashion belt, but it's way stiffer than a fashion belt. I really like this black buckle because when you hang a discrete carry concept clip up on the belt right next to it, it looks like it's part of the buckle and it doesn't draw attention to it. So I've been a pretty big fan of this Core Essentials belt. Uh, they come in like a standard length, so you end up cutting it to whatever length that you desire and that's pretty cool because you can kind of tune in how much of an overlap you want on the belt because sometimes you misorder a gun belt and you have too much or too little overlap right there so you can make a couple cuts and get it just how you want to wear it uh, and so this has been a pretty big winner and i've been enjoying carrying this with it and i'd love to tell you more but first we need to discuss the sacred relationship between content creator and you the subscriber now I make world-class firearms content and you watch this content. And as you watch this content, you consider the Old Spice commercials that had Terry Crews and how great they were. You leverage your connections and get them to rekindle the lineup, but this time featuring my logo as an Easter egg within them so that all of the television will know of the great world-class firearms content done here on the channel. But that said, back to the show. Old Spice, older blocker body wash. Black, 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 black. So I do have two guns that I have been carrying in a rotation, if you will. And by rotation, I mean, I used to carry this one, but recently I've just been carrying the other one. So the first one, which is the super tactical one, and when I pretend to be an operator and need to kick on people's doors, is the Beretta LTT Rodeo with a Streamlight TLR1 hanging off the barrel. So I can do my positive identification with my thousand lumen light for when I'm going on secret missions or whatever. Um, I'm a full immersion kind of guy. If I adopt a platform, I'll actually carry it. I will only do that uh, if I'm trying very hard to come up the speed quickly on a platform. And when I got the Beretta Rodeo, I liked it so much that that's what I did. The Filster Floodlight Holster was a way for me to use a Streamlight TLR1 and carry any gun that I so choose makes sense as a YouTuber because there'll probably be other guns in the future that this holster will help me carry. That said, I don't like carrying guns with weapon mounted lights. Uh, they're frame weight and they make the guns shoot flatter, I guess, but um, I just don't like the added bulk that it adds below the dust cover, especially in this filster. Like it's just 
not that comfortable a holster to carry in an appendix position. I do have the DCC uh, clips on there, which are the only clips you should be using on a holster because they're significantly better than anything else anyone is making. I can give them a very high recommendation. So the clips on the holster are amazing. The holster itself, it's well made. I just don't know that the design is all that squared away because it's not the most comfortable and it doesn't conceal all that well. The gun itself is brilliant. I love shooting this thing. Uh, the cool thing about the Berettas is they carry almost like a 19 sized pistol. So it's almost like a compact with a full size slide, uh, which is not a bad thing. The one that you've been real curious about is the Sig Sauer P365XL in the Harry's Holster Singleton. I've got a discount code for Harry's Holsters if you want to save 10%. You can use it if you decide to check them out, but the Singleton is a pretty cool holster because it is such a minimalist design and I have it set up with a claw, a pad on the back of it, and I took out the mono block uh, Discrete Carry Concepts clip that it comes with and I'm using just a single Mod 4 clip from Discrete Carry Concepts because they are the best clips that anyone is making. The gun itself, the XL, is pretty brilliant. I've been a big fan. Uh, the dimension on the muzzle is great because it makes it carry real well. It has 13 rounds of firepower on it, uh, 12 in the magazine, 1 in the chamber, which makes it balance pretty well. The grip is kind of the perfect length to get a full three-fingered grip from your firing hand. And the Romeo Zero that comes on the thing is not a bad slide. It's 6 MOA dot, which is my preference, but uh, this is just so darn easy to carry. It's light, it's low profile, don't even notice it's there, it's basically invisible. For being lazy and just wanting one gun and being honest about what your day-to-day -day is going to be like, this is a really, really good choice. So I've been a big fan of that. So that's the gear that's been getting it done for me here recently. And you can check out this video on the P365XL that I reviewed recently, or you can check out my review on the Langdon Tactical Rodeo, the Beretta 92, which is a pretty sweet machine as well. <laughs>